For this tutorial, what you're going to need is an object that you want to create the effect, a moving object, and a type flow that you'll create here, right? Once you sign the type flow, the first you're going to create a birth voxel and going to click in the object that you want. In this case, I already clicked. So it's a text, it's easy to modify. But you can also add any object. I will pick this sphere. So there you go. Next, you're going to create a surface inside and you're going to choose the object that you are moving. In this case, it's the box. And here, you're going to test volume inside. That's the test that you want to make. And of course, here you create a shape, in this case, a sphere and a mesh, otherwise it will not render. Let's turn on the event. I'm going to create an event, you just drag here, create new event and put the modifiers. The first modifier is physics shapes. So the spheres, when they touch to each other, they collide. So create this nice effect. Second is the scale, so you see them growing. But how to make it? You put a value here. Let's put 110, just so make it more obvious. But in timing, you put a event age, because if you put continuous, it will just keep growing to the infinite. So you put event age, so every time they start growing, they will grow for only five frames and stop. Or if you want to grow more, for example, you can modify here as well. You add force, and in force you're going to add the noise, otherwise it will behave like this. It's okay too, depending on what you want, but I want they keep moving. So here I add the force. Last I add slow speed. I put 10%. Without it, it goes just crazy as well. So that's how you tame the particles. Then you add a mesh to render. And there you go. That's it. That's simple. See you next one. Oh, if you're still here, uh, note that in type flow you need to turn off the full gravity. Otherwise, the particle will fall because of the physics shape. So turn off this and now you're ready okay bye